In this section, we will introduce asymmetric bodies. We will use this design as an example. When we see this style, we need to analyze it. Maybe you will be confused with such a style. We will analyze where the darts are. The dart on the right is very clear. We can see it's in the form of gathering. But where is the dart on the left? We can find it's hidden in the style line. Okay, let's get started. Before draping the asymmetric dart, we first need to tape the location of the style line and the gathering according to the design. As this is an asymmetric bodice, we also need to tape the whole width line on the dress form. The width of the muslin is the front bust width plus 20 cm. Fold the muslin at the lengthwise grain line. Find the middle line of the muslin. And draw the center front line at the lengthwise direction. Measure down bust height plus 5 cm from the top edge of the muslin and draw a perpendicular line as the bust line. Then Place muslin on dress form. Pin the center front and the bust line onto the dress form. Drape the neckline and define the side neck point. Slash from the outer edge to within 0.6 cm of the neckline. Smooth the muslin again at the grain line direction. Pin the side neck point. Smooth along the shoulder line and pin the shoulder point. Smooth around the armhole. Pin the under armhole point. As the left dart is in this direction, there is no other dart here. Next, we will drape the left front bodies. Smooth along the side seam. Pin at the side waist line. Smooth along the waistline. Leave some seam allowance. We can slash at the waistline to make it flat. Smooth the muslin gently and don't over pour it. Pin to the side waist point.
Paint the side same line under the style line. Paint at the intersection of the style line and the side waist line. In order to see it clearly, we can mark the style line on the left bodies. And find the gathering location. Leave some similarities. And cut out the style line. Next, we will drape the right bodies. Smooth the muslin from the side seam towards the style line. Smooth along the muslin. To the first gathering location. Smooth the muslin from the left bust point. And pin the muslin on the star line. Up to the location of the second gathering. The middle part is the gathering area. Fix the gathering by tape to control the gathering shape. Adjust the gathering to the designed shape. Next, we will start to mark. We only need to mark the waist line on the left bodies. We will copy other lines from the right bodies. Mark the neckline by continuous dots. Mark shoulder point, armhole, under armhole point, the intersection of the side seam and the style line. Dot along the style line. We also need to mark the gathering. Mark the start and the end location of the gathering. Next, mark the lower parts. Cross mark at the intersection of the side seam and the style line. Mark along the style line by continuous dots. Mark the waistline.
take off the muslin after marking. After we take off back bodies, we will chew lines. First, fold under the center front. Trace the neckline, shoulder line, and the armhole line to the left bodies. Chew the neckline, shoulder line, armhole line. Side seam line, waist line, and side seam on the left bodies. Next, we will connect the style line. Shorten the darts by 2.5 cm. And find the dart vanishing point. Connect the style line by smooth curve to the front gathering location. Track if the gathering locations are the same on the upper and lower bodies. Adjust the location if it's necessary. Connect to the side seam. Add seam allowance at the outer lines. Trim away excess muslin. Label the pattern. Measure the gathering distance and mark it on the pattern. We will continue to pin gathering. We can pin together or hand stitch the gathering area. Pour the thread and then adjust the gathering to the designed length. Next, pin together the bodies. Pin the bodies back to the dress form. Track feet. Now we have completed the front bodies with asymmetric darts. 